Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last part, we just started collecting a whole bunch of crap, and uh, we are, now we're helping this one dude collect the, his five golden leaves. And so far, I think we have like four of them, so all that's left is this last one. And then, yeah, we've already made we made a lot of progress thanks to like the shovel and the fucking bombs and shit. We're ready for that. Oh yeah, what you're gonna be needing for this last one is just pull out your fucking power bracelet. You see that door's closed, pick up one of these pots and throw it at it. It's like, no, you're not closed. Fuck you. And you just gotta fight this guy for the last seat. The last fucking... Damn, he does a lot of damage. And with that, you get the last one. At last, you got the final golden leaf. Now go and see Richard about that key. Alright. And like in the last part, we also opened up that gate right before we closed it. Right before we finished it off. And now, so, yeah, dear. Now we can actually get out of the castle and all that. So let's just make our way out here. Oh, and uh, with that one picture, that that one photo book opportunity that we had with Richard, that we took earlier, uh, if you don't do that, then uh, I think you missed the chance. If you don't do that right before you're about to save the golden leaves, then you miss your chance of getting that picture. I'm not entirely sure, though, but I've never really gone without getting it. Yeah, fucking... How the hell did I knock him back into his own hole? And god... Damn these enemies. Anyway, now that we got these five golden leaves, we can continue on to the third dungeon. So, let's just go right to him. And now I'm trying to concentrate while commentating, and that's kind of hard to do. Oh well. Now let's just talk to Richard right here. Ah, Travian, I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move this box and you will find your reward. Now we just push this and a little passageway. And here's where we can get one of the secret seashells. Push this right here. Pull out your fucking rocks feather, of course. And make your way to this chest. And that makes for, I think, our 12th. And fuck you, enemy. From there, I think there's like one left that we can collect. And it's like right before we enter the third dungeon, so... The hell? Is that a place we can shovel into? Apparently not. Oh well. I thought you could shovel into there. Anyway, what you want to do for this part is like, keep cutting until you reach a point. Or just follow like this grass and shit. Or if you don't want to, hey, <laughs> shortcut. Shit! Anyway, just keep following, like, where the grass ends. Or where you find, like, the actual grass itself. Hmm. Well, crap. You know what? Screw this. Shortcut. Hooray for shortcutting. Anyway, you just gotta dig right in front of this owl statue. Hey. There we go. And we get the key for the third dungeon. The slime key. Now you can open the gate in Cuckoo, in a cuckoo Prairie. Wow, I just like freaking started like crazy right there. I sound like fucking Krabby. You know, like fucking Ashes, Krabby, and Pokemon and shit. Eh, Pokemon reference. Anyway, let's just continue on to that third dungeon. Where we're gonna be able to get our. Damn it! I really gotta stop falling. Woo! I almost fell that again that time. Screw this maze and screw it hard. Shit, I got shortcuts. And there we go. Ah, crap, I went down again. There we go. That's just gonna screw me over in the long run. Or is it? Nah, maybe, I don't even know. Anyway, let's just continue on to that third dungeon. What you gotta do here is just make your way up this path before actually trying to continue onward. And then use the key on this. And there we go! Now we got access to the third dungeon, but before that we gotta make our way to it first, and then I'm gonna be get getting that last secret seashell I think we can get. How many do I got? Alright, I got 12. Yep, I think this is the last one we can get. And from here on out, I'm just gonna be collecting every single secret seashell. 
the remaining 12 after this one, so... Yeah, that's gonna be not fun at all. Anyway, make your way up here. And you guys kill these enemies just in case. And then pull out your shovel, dig where that grass was circling. And you pull out the 13th one. There it is. So yeah, that's everything we can get up to this point. Including, that's the trading sequence, the photos available, I think. I think we got up to four right now. So, yeah, alright. I'm gonna pull out the fuck that, and let's get started. Level 3, Key Cavern. As you guys should probably remember from the castle, pull up one of these fucking pots, throw it at the door, and it should open. And I- God, I hate these enemies. And, you know what, fuck you. Maybe I should have gotten that upgrade first, but oh well. Open this chest and you get a small key. If you guys probably should have guessed by now, it's not called Key Cavern for no reason. For no reason. They were really generous with keys in this level. And chest with a freaking enemy in it. Hey, we can't do anything in this room just yet, so we just gotta continue onward. And you would think that's a hint for bombing somewhere, but nah, it's not. And let's just continue our way down here. There we go. And I am going to be unlocking all these doors. You don't really need to unlock them. If you just want to continue onward, just use this the key on this door. But I'm going to be using it up, down, left, right to get every single key available in here. There we go. And Guardian Acorn. Crap. Oh well. Shit, that'll cut them. <laughs> Look at that, we've taken so much freaking damage. Anyway, just use the key right there. Go down here. I'm gonna pull out the rock's feather. For this enemy, it's gonna be kind of annoying because he always, like, teleports away from you. Like that. There we go. And grab the key before it tries falling off a ledge or something, I don't know. And seriously, this is not called Key Cavern for no reason. As you guys can see, there's all sorts of keys. And... die. And I've already lost the power of the fucking Guardian Acorn. That's terrible. And with that... Oh yeah, we already hit that one little switch thing. And we can just make our way to this chest right here. And we get the Stone Beak. Sweet. Okay, I gotta stop saying sweet and all that. I sound like fucking Cartman. And I already mentioned how the one second dungeon boss sounded like Cartman. Whatever. Let's just make our way over into this room. I think we can get the map in this one. Or the compass. Yep, it's the map. Finally, we got the map before the fucking compass, I think. So let's just continue onward. And from here, to this room. I'm gonna try killing that fucking son of a bitch. You know what, screw it. Screw that enemy. And what you want to do here is find every single enemy that's hidden in here and kill them. It's like search and destroy. Only you never die. And there we go, we get another key. Of course. And right now we're gonna be able to get that uh, main item in the dungeon right now. But before, but before that, let's pull out some bombs. Make ourselves some extra paths. Set a bomb right there. Then gain access to this area. And as you can see in the top right there, place a bomb there too. There we go. <laughs> they try fucking with me. Anyway, you guys see that chest right there? That's the main item of the dungeon, but we gotta fight a couple mini-bosses, but... Actually, I'm gonna need some bombs before then. I'm already starting to run out. Actually, as long as I kill one, I don't think I have to kill the other. As you guys see in here, too many bosses, kind of, sort of. What you want to do for this one, set a bomb right in... It's basically Dodongo. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Anyway, if you just kill one, and then, like, make your way out of this area... It kills them both! That's an awesome glitch, isn't it? Saves you some time if you're low on bombs, you can just do that. 
Hey, why are you making your way to this chest? In the main arm of the dungeon, the Pegasus Boots. You hold down the button, you can dash. Of course. I'm gonna grab me some health, even though I don't really need it. And with Pegasus Boots, you can actually destroy these little green things. Which are somewhere around everywhere. And of course, just like with Pegasus Seeds, if you use them in conjunction with the Rock's Feather, then, uh... Yeah. Son of a... Oh, yeah, and you can also kill the... Use the... Pegasus Boots to kill these fuckers with, before they even have a chance to react. react. There we go. And I'm gonna try and... I haven't gotten a single piece of power. I could have used that a lot sooner. Anyway... Get out of here. You too. Oh my god! Yeah, screw you all. Alright, I'm just grabbing me some extra bombs because I'm I need them. And try killing me. You can't, can you? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Anyway, you can make your way up to this chest and you get 50 rupees, of course. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna make my way that make my way here just yet. Make my way over here. Oh right, I don't think you can bomb it from bomb a wall from this side. So you gotta get to this part right here, pull out your bombs, and throw it all the way over there. And now you got access to that little room. So let's make our way all the way back to the entrance of the f beginning of the dun the entrance of the dungeon. There we go. Let's make our way back to the mini boss area. I mean, yeah, mini boss area. Pull out your Pegasus boots for this part and use them to try getting that fucker out of the way. And grab the small key in here. I think right now up to this point, I think we have two or three. Yeah, we got three. Sweet. And let's make our way back in here. Actually, crap, I just remembered. There's like a little something we can grab. So, uh, pull out your fucking... Ah, power bracelets. Open that door. Hey! Fucking hate those things. And then pull out your Pegasus boots to destroy this. And kill this fucker and make your way all the way back. Hey, there we go. And good thing we don't have to kill these enemies just to get that door open. But these ones, yes. There we go. And then kill all the enemies in this room. And make this chest pop up. And I think it's like 100, 200 rupees. Look at that. 200 fucking rupees. And considering the next item that's available inside that one shop... We're gonna need all the fucking rupees we can get. I mean it. Really. All the rupees we can possibly get. Don't leave a single rupee ungathered. At all. I mean it, guys. If you guys know what I mean, then yeah. Grab every single rupee you can. Anyway, for this part, just like use pegs and seeds and then rocks feather your way across that pit. The same goes with this one too, I guess. Go to this chest and you get the Nightmare's Key. Sweet. And fuck these enemies. And for this part, I just suggest pulling out your sword and all that. These enemies, I suggest trying to get them all at once. Or whatever, I don't know, I'm trying to get them all at once. There we go, because they try following you and they try exploding right in front of you, so just keep slashing to keep them away. There we go. Damn, I'm already starting to run out of time. I was hoping to get this dungeon finished under a part. Yes, piece of power! Yes, yes, yes! Finally, you show up like a minute before I had to fucking cut. Open this chest for the compass, and... Crap. Text. I just remembered. <laughs> anyway, I think we got everything in this dungeon. We just gotta get the last... This final key. Oh my god! Kill these enemies right here, too. Hey! There we go. And now we have every single key, so... Anyway, I am going to cut it here. I'm going to cut to back when I get back to the mini-boss area. So, uh, next time on Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we're going to continue our way to the final to the boss of this dungeon. So, see you guys then.